Hey everyone, Jennifer here. Um, I'm sorry you guys, I, I can't um, show you guys my face because I look horrible. I feel really awful today. I'm just really, I don't know, I think I'm catching a cold because my daughter was sick and I think she passed it on to me. But anyway, she's here with me in the room so I hope she doesn't make too much noise for you guys. Um... I wanted to do this video because uh, this was such a great idea. I had to try it right away. Um, I got this idea over at um, Liz's blog. Liz, um, her blog is Me and My Crazy Obsessions. And I'll post her link um, down below in the info bar. So be sure to check out her blog as well. Um, someone made a comment. Her name is Lori V. Um, she's also... I believe she follows my blog and my YouTube. So hi Lori. Um, she made a great suggestion about uh, using different inks with my Muji stamp. And because people have been um, having problems with the ink really um, showing through on the pages and bleeding out. So um, really quickly before I show you guys how uh, my little experiment, um, you can also use, here's the Muji stamp you guys, I'm glad all of you are really liking this idea and using it um, for your own Phyllovaxes. Um, it also fits on pocket size. I know a lot of you have um, the personal size organizers but they work well on the pocket sizes as well. I did this for my sister-in-law because she has a um, pocket size file fax. So she wanted to know if it fits in the pocket pages. So I did that for her. I hope I'll post these pictures on my blog so you guys can um, see a clearer picture of that as well. So now um, I was using these two inks this is the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and the Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And for me personally, I th um, I I think it's just because of the way I stamp it that it doesn't bother me. The bleed through doesn't bother me, but um, I guess you can see it on here how much it really does bleed through. Here's um, the page and then here's the other page. And this is just on the regular white Filofax paper. Um, I think it does bleed just as much on the cotton cream. But I do stamp it again on this side so you don't really see it. But anyways, I decided to try out these inks because of Lori's suggestion. And of course, being a crafter first before Filofax, I already have plenty of inks on hand. Um, some of the inks I did use were these. Ah, sorry, guys. Um, were these Memento dewdrops? And then again, um, this is how I store them in this box. It's called the Prism Art Bin, and it was meant to be for pins, but I decided to put my do drops so it's clearly seen like that instead. And then I also use tried out these um Versa Magic um chalk inks. And just to show you guys what I did with that. Oh also I used um so I tried out these Tim Holtz distress inks. Just because I had them on hand I just wanted to see how they would work as well. So to show you guys that, here is some of the Versa Magic inks. I will post these pictures on my blog, but that's a very light ink. This is like a, a light pink called Pixie Dust. Uh, this is Sea Breeze, and then this is the Tim Holtz Tattered Rose. And then here's the, you can barely even see the um that doesn't bleed at all like very slightly i don't even think you guys can see that but um what i would say hold on let me just show you guys some more before i explain 
Here's like a green. This is more like um, a sky gray blue, I guess. And then here's the, um, like a lavenderish color. And um, what's this? Oh, a, like a sage color, greenish. And then this is like a darker purple. And these are all Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz. Where's the magic? Where's the magic? And then here's the back. You can see with the darker inks that they are starting to show through a little bit more. I hope you guys can see that. Um, okay, so. And then this one I tried like a darker ink. The darker inks that I have. Which are, let's see, like these here look those are like the darker ones that I tried this one this is a magenta purple oh no purple hydrenia hydrenia I forget how do you say that flower whatever that flower name <laughs> uh plumeria turquoise gem night skies like a dark really dark blue and then there you go again can't really see it not as bad as um, if I were to use black ink. And then um, I tried out these Memento inks. You could see here I did just do the light colors because I knew for sure because I used the black Memento ink that the darker inks would for sure bleed through. So I just did like the light ones. I did um, this is a gray. It's called London Fog. And I would say the gray bleeds just as much as the black. I don't know if you guys can see that. But anyways, um, you could see that more than you could see the other colors on the back. But um, it's, this is New Sprout. It's like a lime green. Summer Sky, it's like a light blue. Lulu Lavender, a very light lavender. And Angel Pink. Um... So, what I have to say is that um, the mementos are great because memento ink dries quickly. And then as far as the Versa Magic and the Tim Holtz, the Tim Holtz I would not recommend because I, I don't know, for some reason they really saturate the paper more and you could really... Uh, I'll show you guys the pictures, but you can really see that it does bleed through. Um, the Versa Magic is okay, but you have to let it dry. It takes time. You can't just write on it right away. Um, I knew it kind of took a couple minutes for it to dry, and I was kind of like, come on, dry, dry, dry. But with the Mementos, as soon as I stamped it, um, it stamps really lightly. Um, I think I put a good amount of pressure but it's still um, a very light ink and quick drying so I would definitely recommend um, the Memento inks and again just to show you guys um, what those ink colors were let me open up this quickly London Fog is this gray one here I did New Sprout Summer Sky, Lulu Lavender, and Angel Pink. And I'll post up those pictures for you guys. Um, Dew Drops are great because, you know, they're affordable and you can get a lot of inks in one pack. Uh, you can buy them individually as well on um, some craft websites or scrapbooking websites if you can find them um the prices really vary but sometimes you know they have those sales at michael's and joanne so you guys use your coupons and um try these out you guys i think we'll be very happy with that um just to show you guys, ooh, really quickly, I don't have it with me. Darn, I'll post a picture of it on my blog, but I did try it out on my, um, like, couple weeks coming up. And 
it just looks so cute with um, the inks coordinating with my washi tape so um, thank you again Lori V and Liz Dottie um, that was a great great suggestion and I'll post your both of your blogs down below thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye